Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. So it's Friday afternoon. 4 12 in the afternoon. <sighs> Route is done. Most of my supper is already cooked and waiting on me some chicken. I baked the chicken. I put it on earlier today and let it cook for a couple hours and I went in there and ate a little bit of it before getting on the bike to fill that little empty hole. I probably ate too much, but it was so good. Good grief. Guys, we have definitely hit fall here in good old West Tennessee. Temperatures have been pretty nice, uh, especially in the mornings. Nice and got a little bit of coolness to it. And in the evenings, got a little bit of coolness. It happened pretty quick. That don't mean we're not gonna get some more hot days. It's uh, just kind of the way it goes here in the south. One day it's, you know, one day it might be fall, the next day it might be summer again. You never know. So I did things a little backwards today with my fitness routine. Normally in the mornings when I get home from my bus route, I, uh, I either go for a walk real quick, uh, about a mile and a half or almost two mile uh, walk, and then I jump on the bike and I spin, and then in the evenings is whenever I do my working out in my gym. But today, did things a little different, not really sure why. And uh, I got my walk done, and then I went ahead and worked out. And so now this, this afternoon, I'm spinning on the old bike. Burn a few calories. Go eat a few more calories. <laughs> Trying to stick to a, a decent health, healthy uh, way of living, decent lifestyle, decent diet. I'm not perfect, and I'm not going to try to be, but uh, I am definitely doing better. Trying to keep my calories in check. Trying to drop more weight. Over the past few months, I've probably dropped a lot. I don't know how much, I don't ever weigh myself, but I've lost a lot. So, that's good news for me. So, I ran into a little bit of money. A little bit of extra money came my way. Thanks Blue Cross Blue Shield. Plus I sold a couple of things we have laying around the house. You know, made a 20 here, 25 there. And I got a little extra money and, and I was torn between what to do. Um, if I get extra money, I like to enjoy myself. You know, we pay our bills and we take care of ourselves with all of our paycheck money and then we get to enjoy a smidgen of it if there needs left but if I make some extra money I like to enjoy myself a little bit so I was kind of looking at uh, getting some more gym equipment fitness equipment stuff like that and uh, but I've also been if you keep up with my channel I've also been uh, collecting the new Masters of the Universe Revelations toys. And uh, so far I've just got wave one, the first wave. 
and they've already got scheduled out wave two, three, and four. So I was kind of torn between do I want to get some more fitness appointment right now or do I want to go ahead and pre-order these and make sure I got them. I was back and forth on it a little bit. Well, I went ahead and went with the collecting the toys because you never know how long they'll be around and we live in a small town with only one store. So, and some of these things are Target exclusives. Uh, I don't know for how long, if it's limited times, but some of the toys are Target exclusives and not easy to find and, and all that. So I went ahead and I pre-ordered them from another, from a site. And uh, at least I know that I'm gonna have them in my collection. And uh, unfortunately they release a couple of special edition type figures in between and you still gotta find those. So I'm pretty happy with my decision. Uh, a lot of the stuff I'm wanting, it's online all the time, marketplace, hundred dollars and less, treadmills, ellipticals, uh, exercise bikes, and uh, you know, you can find weights and, and, and different things that I'm wanting. So, my wife, I asked my wife, what, what does she think I should do? And she said, well, I think it's pretty obvious. I'd go with the toys because you never know if you're going to find them. So, I took her advice, and I was kind of leaning that way anyway. But uh, I took her advice, and I went for it and pre-ordered them. So, I'm pretty happy with that decision. I've never collected really anything. At one time, I was kind of getting a small movie collection and a small video game collection. You know, but but no, not really, nothing you would even consider a, a large scale or a medium scale or anything at all. It was nothing major. But uh, I've never been a collector because I don't like all the clutter and all the mess that goes with it and the dust and But I, I've seen this animated show that it was coming on and they were releasing figures. And I said, you know what? I think it, I think at my age right now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for it and do a little collecting. So I'm just collecting these figures. And uh, they're really nice. They're in nice boxes and they look really good. And uh, they'll, look, they'll look really nice in my in my office. If you go back and look at my videos uh, under man cave or something like that, probably man cave, uh, you'll see I just started on my closet and uh, I painted it and got it kind of going and I still got a lot more to do but eventually that's where all these are going to end up is in the closet. And I put some lights kind of behind the door so it shines in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, so now it's just a waiting game. You know, they're on pre-order, so wave two and three is supposed to be out this year, and then wave four is supposed to come out early next year. So, but go ahead and pre-order them, and uh, I don't have to worry about them. I'll get them when I get them. But I still will. I'll still get some fitness equipment I'm wanting. Just uh, you know, I'll just have to find the right time. I know I'm on this and I, you know, it's hooked up to my trainer, but I am wanting to get a, a regular 
exercise bike, stationary bike, you know, with like a 40 pound, 45 pound flywheel, belt drive, and magnetic resistance. You can get them for about 500, a good one. Not a Peloton, I don't care about those. Those are uh, overpriced, overhyped, and uh, I don't need those. And I want to get a, I do want to get an elliptical, and I've seen those, you can see those online all the time, marketplace, cheap. There was a good one a couple, two, three weeks back or so, a good one, and uh, Nordic Track. The lady was selling it for like $50, $75, and it was probably a three, dollars $400 machine at least. And I was like, dang, I was really broke at that time. Uh, from helping out uh, some family, you know, we kind of put ourselves in a bind, so we didn't have any money at all. So I didn't get to get that. But eventually I want to get like a bike and a, a treadmill and elliptical and I can go from one to the other. Kind of mix up, you know, my cardio and do different stuff and what have you. And I'm looking at getting a, a hex bar, uh, a trap bar, whatever you want to call them. It's really called a hex bar. It's the kind that looks like a hex kind of, and they got, when you put the weights on the end and you can stand in the middle of it and lift, keeps the weights centered over your body, I want to get one of those, <clears throat> and I do need a few more weights, I'd like to get about probably about six more 45s. I need some 10s. I need some 5s. You know, I'll be pretty good on my plates. Dumbbells, I still need 45s. And that'll get me up to 50 in 5 pound increments. Well, okay, I need 15s. I didn't get 15s. To uh, the other week whenever I bought some, but I need some 15s. Then I'll have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50s. And 5 pound increments. It's pretty good. And then I need 60s, 70s, and 90s. And of course I could do 5 pound increments of those as well. Boy, I ate more chicken than I thought I did. That gum. I baked it in the dish, you know, casserole dish, whatever, baked it. Put all my herbs and spices on it only after I skinned it. I skinned the whole chicken and then I put on my Mrs. Dash and some pepper and a little bit of some uh, light zesty Italian dressing uh, kind of inside the chicken in the booty and uh, covered it up put it in the oven for a couple hours and uh, and then I let it sit in the oven after the oven was off for like the next three hours or so at least so that's good. Good. Good stuff. I'm gonna make me some asparagus and cook up, fry some onions and peppers with that. That's what I eat all the time. I eat onions, peppers, tomatoes, asparagus, chicken, fish, cans of light, bumblebee tuna, 
Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. Oh, my butt. Ah. My buns. My buns. So anyway, you're kind of caught up on my day. I need to do a little housework. I've been slacking on that. And I kind of been slacking on my YouTube videos. I, I'm kind of at a point where I don't know what to do, where I don't know what I'm going to do. And, but here I am doing this. I'm at least doing this. I'd like to do, uh, like the other day, I was going to do like the art video and, you know, just do some drawing. But it's so difficult to get my camera and all that set up because I don't have a good, like a, a rig, like a, a good way to mount my camera up here above my, I'm shooting down. I've done it before. Uh, I attached it to my desk lamp. You know, the desk lamps, but my desk lamp is kind of too far back behind my monitors now and it don't come out far enough so I can attach it underneath it and shoot down. So, I need to get me like some CPVC or PVC pipe and make me just kind of a, you know, a little with some legs and it comes up here and then I can attach the camera right here and shoot down. That's what I need to do, and I keep wanting to do it, but keep putting it off. But I'll get it eventually, I guess. I did do a movie review uh, like a day ago, maybe yesterday or day before. Uh, the Curse of Frankenstein. That was a pretty decent movie. You gotta go check it out. It's in my playlist. Uh, movie and TV discussion. When was it? Thursday. Thursday was my chest day. And uh, even though the outcome was good, what happened shortly after I started wasn't real good. I, uh, I was, I warmed up really good, several sets warming up. And then I grabbed the hundreds and I did like a set of 10. And then I did a set of eight, I think, eight or nine, and then I went back for my third set with the 100s, and when I laid back, you know, with the weights, I got off balance on my bench, and wow, wow, dropped my dumbbells, of course they're 100 pounds a piece, and it's pretty loud on that hard floor, oh boy. That can get to you mentally. I used to would have never done that. But the older I get, the more it's harder for me to handle those 100 pound dumbbells. And I can feel it. And I got problems with my arms right here. And I have arthritis in my wrists. And that's two big things going against me. More than the fact that I'm older is I don't have a whole lot of strength when it comes to holding something like that off balance. So when I went back, it was just like, oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Plus, add on top of those things, I'm losing weight. So, you know, if I'm 30 pounds lighter, I'm probably not gonna be quite as strong as I was when I'm 30 pounds heavier. But the good news is, I composed myself, got myself back together mentally, and then I grabbed the hundreds, went back, and I got my set. And I didn't just get that set, I got a fourth set with the 100s. So I did that, plus I finished the rest of my whole routine that I still had to do, which was uh, dumbbell flies, 
and uh, just some lightweight uh, easy bar uh, presses. I can't do a whole lot because I don't have a rack or anything or uprights, a normal, you know, like weight bench. Uh, so I just had like 45s on the on each end, uh, 90 pounds, plus the bar. The bar is about 15 or 20. So I just kind of stood up and I get it like that and then I sit down on the bench and then lay back and then press and then get myself back up. And uh, so I did two sets of those as well, just to kind of give me the feeling of using a bar uh, instead of just dumbbells. But I had a good, good workout. I feel it too. And probably some of that was from ah, ah. <laughs> It's very loud. My wife was like, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, sometimes that happens. But I've never dropped. I've never done that before. But, also keep in mind, um, I'm doing a bench, I'm benching a little different now. When I go back, and I lay back on my back, I bring my feet up and I put my feet on the on the bench as well because my bench is a little bit tall and if I don't it stretches my legs out to reach the floor too much and it kind of tweaks my back a little bit so when I go back with that much weight I'm trying to balance on that little skinny bench and bringing my feet up with it and I don't have nothing to keep me balanced so when you go back you got to be perfectly balanced with those dumbbells or else you can get off balance like that and that's what happened it just <laughs> so I'm good had a good workout I had a good workout today even though I didn't go real heavy I just want I did shoulders today and I just did one set of the 80 pound dumbbells shoulder presses normally I'll try to get like two three maybe even four sets you know and uh, not hit not a lot of reps but making sure that I at least lift those heavy dumbbells for shoulders but today I kind of stuck with just one set of those and kept everything uh, 50 pounds and under and just did a lot of reps and a lot of sets and Burned them up pretty good. I'm doing good, guys. I'm sticking to it. Oh, my butt. Oh. I don't have my cycling shorts on. Of course, they don't help a whole lot. They help a little. Oh, oh, oh. oh butt bone, go home. So we got, ow, ow, leg flat, leg skin, ow. Six minutes and 20 seconds left, guys. I guess I'm gonna record the whole, the whole thing. Why not? Haven't done that in a while. I hope everybody's having a good week. I mean, you had a good Friday. I know we're expecting really nice weather, at least for the next couple of days that I've seen. So I'm really looking forward to that. Tomorrow I'm gonna have movie night here. Get my projector out and watch a movie out here, a scary movie. I'm gonna start that up. Where I do that on the weekends leading into Halloween. And, uh, even if I do it alone, I'll do it alone. <laughs> but uh, I have invited my boys and nephew and uh, a guy I know, a guy that of course my wife, uh, kind of friends with him. Yeah. I invited him over. So, I really don't invite my sisters or anything because they're not really into scary movies or anything like that. So, I don't really invite them over for it. 
But they are invited to my Halloween party. We're having a Halloween party on the 30th of October. It's gonna be fun. And have make up some have some games like cakewalks and uh, costume contests and guess how many pieces of candies in the jar. You know, give a probably give like a $25 uh, cash prize away or something for the costume contest and I'm trying to think of some other stuff that's not really expensive to do. Probably have cornhole, but it'll probably be dark out, so you know, trying to figure out some stuff to do. If you've stuck around this long, which I doubt you have, for those of you that that uh, subscribe to my channel uh, for all the cycling videos and stuff and uh, talking about bikes and, and all that, uh, I, I kind of apologize again, I have before, I apologize again for, you know, not having all that much cycling content. But of course, if you keep up with my channel, you know I don't cycle anymore on the daily. I do this. Uh, they don't mean that once in a while I won't take my bike somewhere uh, loaded up and go to a bike friendly trail or something like that. Uh, there's always that possibility and I thought about it uh, doing it during our fall break. Of course that depends on the weather and what have you so but uh, I'm sorry if I don't do a lot of cycling content. But I, I try to do other stuff in the hopes that you find some kind of reason to stick around. And for those of you that don't know or don't keep up really, I stopped cycling because of a couple of reasons. One, because uh, the road that I have to start out on is unsafe and I've been fighting it. I fought it for five and a half years. So I, you know, I'm lucky I didn't get killed because uh, people drive like idiots out there. Two, uh, just time restraint. Uh, I mean, I have all the time in the world. I'm a bus driver. I don't work a lot of hours, but I don't like spending my whole day doing these things. I like to be able to get them done. So I was cycling anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. Then I had to work out anywhere from 30 minutes to, you know, 40 minutes or however long it takes. You know, just depends on what all I'm doing. Could be an hour. And then I go for a walk, which takes 35 minutes to 45 minutes. That's a lot of time. So, I do this 30 minutes and I call it a day as far as cycling goes. And to be honest, I'm getting a pretty good workout doing it. And I can do it no matter the time, the rain, snow, sleet. You know, I don't have to worry about nothing. I can come out here at 2 o'clock in the morning and not have to worry if I want. Let's see what time we got. Ah, 57 seconds. I'm good with that. This is a long video, guys. I hope you're okay with that. If you stuck around, then you must be. I tried to touch on a few things that uh, I'm doing and I'm going to do and I have done. And Maybe you're on your bike watching me pedal and I'm inspiring you. And that's what I'm hoping I'm doing. I think in our days, we ought to try to inspire not only ourselves, but we ought to inspire everyone else around us, bring a little positivity into the world. It's up to us to change things, guys. In the real world, social media, and in our everyday lives. 
and I'm done. Anyway, guys, I hope you uh, got something out of the video and uh, enjoyed it a little bit, and I hope I inspired you to do something. All right? Whew. Go check out the playlist. All kind of stuff's in the playlist, guys. Uh, there's going to be something for, for everyone in there, all right? While you're doing that, go ahead, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to Mikey Sin TV. All right? Get up, get out, get rad. And do it to it. We'll see y'all later. Watch this. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it to it.